What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. Our code down below is finally live, and it does directly support Robbie Cole and myself. But I have been singing the praises of Yu-Gi-Oh! singles for a while because their prices tend to be trend-setting on the market because... Let's, let's look at some of these TCG player prices. $99 on impertinence. We have big stores like Pro Play Games here with Ghost Bell at 80 and then Black Market coming in at 55. We have people putting Nightmare Griffin, ridiculous prices. And you see a lot of these are actually big stores with huge feedback. Nightmare Unicorn, 45. Uh, Corruptor Ibli at 40. Topologic, 25. That's actually not the worst, right? That's our secret area. Yeah. That's actually not a terrible price project, Yu-Gi-Oh! Thanks. And it would be at 30 with a uh, black market here again. It's it's pretty up there on a lot of these cards. Sucker at 16. So we come over to Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles.com. Impertinence is way up there. 85. You'll actually get it cheaper on eBay right now at 72, even with that 5% off. But Ghost Bell at 31 is going to be beat nowhere. Absolutely nowhere right now. They're actually, I think, a little bit insane for putting it at 32 and then 5% off, as mentioned. It's pretty crazy to see them because this feels like a mistake. This is Ghost Ogre's, like, original price before it spiked real hard. So, I don't know about coming out the gate. I get that people are a little harsh on this card, but its effect is still amazing. Adds a cards from the graveyard to the hand deck or extra deck negate. Special summon a monster from the graveyard negate. That's, that's pretty huge with how many cards are doing that now. Banish a card or cards from the graveyard negate. Ooh, that, that's so nice. So I, I really do think that this Ghost Grill, uh, it, it could rest at 30 eventually, but out the gate, people would slew this out at a way higher price. We see on eBay, the lowest is $46 uh, from Ideal 808, uh, somebody who's, you know, competing on prices. And we see, the, like, they have impertinence actually lower over here on eBay right now as well, but man uh i i actually think Yu-Gi-Oh singles missed the mark a little and put this a little bit low so you might want to take advantage of this now it is international shipping uh i believe it's around 50 us on uh singles and 75 us on anything and you'll get free shipping around there it's 125 new zealand and do be sure to click this to put it as New Zealand, I get people that come in always commenting like, oh, they've already upped the prices. Make, make sure you're on US dollars, boys. Uh, Griffin at 28 is somewhat interesting. Where where was this on here? Griffin, only one person listing. Uh, another thing I liked was Vampire Sucker was relatively low. We see it at $17 here. Uh, it's actually at $9 here. That's crazy to me. A secret rare, brand new that people are actually looking for at nine dollars um let's let's actually see where it is over here sixteen dollars so see the the market would have tried to set both ebay and tcg player around the sixteen dollar mark and they just go in at nine they're like we want to make actual sales and we want to really hook the players up so it's cool to see that uh ibli at 12 is much lower i believe than tcg player let's take a look i i thought ibli was up here on the yeah there we are 40 <laughs> all right one second we, we gotta see what this is on ebay corruptor ibli we, we have to check that out like and i'm not scared to show you guys whenever uh a card is lower on ebay i'm always going to keep you guys in mind first like i said 34 dollars like i'm going to tell you not to buy impertinence from them right now that's pretty high and i think it'll it'll rest around 60 to 70 uh if not 50 because you're you're comparing this card to evenly match but i think a lot of people will run it so it's not insane to say this will rest at 60 to 70 but 85 is a lot boys we'll, we'll see how the market turns out on that card but it's it's really good prices on the rest of the cards compared to the rest of the market except the top logic's actually near the same cover card of the set it's a, a, I believe, generic link. Yeah, two plus effect monsters. So semi-generic. Uh, you'll be able to make it with most things you would, and it's pretty good. Multi-Faker at 10. I actually have not looked that up. 20 over here. 
And let's see here. Multi Faker. Let's check it out. Price plus shipping lowest. We got proxies. We got mm, Japanese. Actually, uh, from Australia also, 14. And then from Japan, 18. Lowest US, 19. Thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles. So, it, it just goes to show that, you know, if you shop around, Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles on pre-sales usually leads the pack, and a lot of the times, things will come down to its prices. Iron Dragon Ultra Rare, $2. This card's getting a little bit of hype, too. So, you might want to consider adding it just into your cart, $6 for a playset. That's not bad at all. Uh, there's definitely something for everyone over here, but it is, uh, you, you gotta get together with your teammates or be spending a lot to get to that point. I think with this set though, it's not hard at all. You know, you get free shipping if you hit three ghost grills, you get free shipping if you're like building the Troymare deck. I wish they did a Troymare deck base, but it looks like, or Nightmare, my bad, the English name. It looks like they only did Element Savers, which is super cheap, $17. And it includes three Ultra Rares, three Ultra Rares, all the soups, more Ultra Rares. Jesus Christ. So you're getting 12 Ultra Rares at $18? I guess they really don't value the deck at all. And I don't blame them too much. But enough about Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles and the pre-sales. Let's get into some other cards in the market real quick. Super Quantal Mech King Magnus is up, up, up. And we're going to see that price crash down, down, down. Uh, it's sitting here at 17 on TCG Player. Already down to 13 new listing here. 14 new listing here. Uh, it was a complete buyout once that rank 4 boat was announced that can make it. A battle-based boat that protects itself a little but can still get striked on summon isn't going to be meta-defining. And you would have to use so many cards to make Magnus actually good with it. Guys, don't buy into the hype. Don't Just don't do it. Like, there's no sense uh, that this card is going to stay up in price. There's no sense that it's actually going to be meta-defining once you think of the card. The people that did this bio, I understand. There's one printing of this card, and oh, there's something that can make it. It's it's not a good buyout, and the prices are going to crash down, and it's unlikely you're going to generate actual sales. This is surprising people actually listing after the fact of the buyout or already had these prices marked up. What are you doing? Just sell it at market at something you actually think you can sell it at after a buyout like this if you want to try. To make a quick buck or make the buyout fail but yeah it'll, it'll keep creeping down i'm relatively sure i i don't think this card is going to stay up in price it's not necessarily a collector's card quantos aren't the most loved deck in the world unless you're calvin tahan uh definitely i i just think this one was a bad one and then uh something people have been nudging me about warlords doing the creep up and uh i think the lowest first ad is is uh at 65 now yeah around 65 and the quantities are slowly disappearing overall let's let's see how many sellers there are only 12 sellers but a few of them have a couple in the quantity marking like uh dabbers here dabbers has four so that's that's pretty cool uh that, that there's a line being held at some point at 6777 but at the same time, I I don't know. Like Duelist Academy has six here at the seventy dollar mark. I I don't know what's happening uh, to make Borlo go up other than quantity. Like uh, time has passed, Circuit Break is gone, and despite an alternate art in the OCG, despite the Megatons on the horizon, despite battles a legend on the horizon, this card's price creeps up, and a lot of Duelists will need this for the WCQ. If people sold their decks, they'll need this back probably if they're competing in the wcq itself so it's really up to you what kind of gamble you want to play on maybe getting this later versus hoping it's in battles of legend because it, it really does feel like crystal wing right this and saryuja feel kind of crystal wingish and they did include that in battles of legend last year so i'd like to see a card like this end up in uh battles of legend relentless revenge but we can't guarantee that that's just speculation we do know the OCG has an altar art already. We do know that uh, the Megatons are on the horizon and it's a candidate. 
but we ha we have no definites for anything with Boro Load. And uh, honestly, this would be a good chase card for the Megatons if it's not a promo, if, if it is just in the pack. This could be like Solemn where the Mega Pack one becomes 20-ish, the original becomes 30-ish. I could see that happening. But what do you guys think of all these crazy prices from pre-sales? What do you guys think is going on with, uh, you know, the, the slow price bumps, the quick ones? What do you guys think? I actually really do have to give credit to Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles. This isn't just from being sponsored from them or asking you guys to use my code. Like, without them, I feel like the, these would be so price gouged comparatively, and you guys have an option. It takes a little bit longer, but you can get free shipping if you get together with your teammates or buddies and buy together. I definitely think that I, I'm just glad that this exists for you guys. Like, it's you don't even have to use my code. Don't take the 5% off, but definitely it's... I'm, I'm really glad that they're here for pre-sales because otherwise it would just be crazy. So feel free to use this at your sneak peeks while you're trading to really show prices. And when people try to show you eBay, TCG player, don't overpay, don't get overhyped. And, uh you know just just show them like dude this elemental saber decor if you were looking forward to this deck is actually just the most insane price thanks for watching guys